Hi you guys, today I want to show you how to remove a green from poplar. Now here is a piece that I've done. This one still has the green on it and this one we've removed it. As you can see, there is a big difference. The light in the shop, it's terrible and it bounces light. Also, I think I made a mistake. I applied the finish to these boards, which now it just makes the light bounce even more. But I'll put a um, photo that represents the color more accurately. I'll put it over here so you can see. So this board, lots of green. Let's see, does it focus? And this board, no green. A lot more warm tone, more like a butternut color. Can you see that? No green. I hope this picks up on camera. So that's what I'm going to show you today. We will be using oxalic acid to remove the green from poplar. When you buy oxalic acid, it comes in a bag like this, or sometimes it comes in a container. And we need to talk a little bit about the safety. It is an acid. Make sure you wear gloves when you use it. Use a respirator when you, when you mix it because it's in a powder form and it's very fine powder that can just fly around and you do not want to inhale that. Use your eye protection. And um, when you mix the powder, I would recommend you mix it outdoors in a day when it's very calm and no wind. Um, also, if you get the powder on your vegetation, it will kill vegetation. If you pour it on your concrete, it will bleach your concrete or stone or whatever you're putting it on. So please be very, very careful with it and dispose of it properly. But it is an excellent product to have to, you know, take the green out of poplar. It's also used to, I think the most it's used to um, refresh uh, patios. Like people will power wash this stuff on the patios and it will just bring back that natural warm tones when they become gray and icky. So that will just bring it all back. And also it's a great uh, rust remover. But today we're just going to do a small sample just to show you how to remove the green out of poplar. Just in case you do not want to paint your poplar or stain it, you just remove the green and then finish it with a clear coat. The first thing I will do, we need to, you know, prep our surface. And I chose two pieces of poplar. I think this is from the same board and they have the same amount of green. I'll take a picture with more accurate color and I'll place it so you can see it. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm only going to remove the green from one. That way we have the other one as a reference to know where we started with. To prep our surface, I'm just going to hand sand it. I'm going to go with 120, uh, 180 and 220. So I'm just going to give it a quick sand. I might just do one side only because, you know, you will see how the process is and no need for me to go do all around it. We'll do one side and then you can see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go send this, like I said, 120, 180 and 220. Now, obviously, if you're doing a project, you want to put a little bit more effort into sending your piece. But, you know, this is just to show you how to remove the color. So I'm not going to sit here and send this for the next 15 minutes. So now that our piece is sent, we need to raise the grain because we will be adding oxalic acid mixed with water for this. And that will raise the grain and then you get those fuzzy rough, you know, texture when it dries up. So after we um, use the oxalic acid and we remove the green, we can't send too much because the oxalic acid only removes the green the very top layer. So you can give it a little bit of sanding afterwards, but you wouldn't be able to go with all the grids of sandpaper or, you know, take it to the planer or anything like that. So you really want all your pieces to be at, your, at their final dimension and send it to your final sanding, um, you know, grid that you like and before we put the oxalic acid. So what I will do now, I will raise the grain. To raise the grain, I'll just use my trusty water bottle. This is hairdresser water bottles, gives it a very fine uniform mist. I'm going to mist this board and then just let it dry and that will raise the grain. Then once it's dry, I'll come back and just send it again with the 220 just to knock off that roughness. My board is dry now, so I'm gonna give it another quick sanding with 220 just to knock out that grain. It does not take much. 
And there you go. Now we have a nice and smooth surface that is ready for oxalic acid. I did dump my oxalic acid in a jar because it makes it easier for me to scoop without spilling it everywhere. And I have another jar that I will be putting some warm water. It doesn't have to be hot, but it has to be warm. So I'm gonna go put some warm water in here and then we'll mix the acid. We'll brush it on our board and we see what we get. All right, I got some warm water in here. I didn't measure it, I just eyeball it. I got my heavy duty gloves for working with acid. I have my respirator because I do not want to inhale that powder as I'm mixing it. And I have my eye protection because I don't want to splash it into my eyeballs. If this is an acid, we have to take precautions. Normally I would do this outside, but uh, it's raining outside, so we have to do it here. I put the garbage bag on my bench because I do not want to, you know, spill this on my bench. And let's mix some in. First things first, I got long sleeves. Even though I don't like to wear long sleeves, I put it on just for this occasion because I want to protect my skin. Uh, I'll put my goggles on and it's important that you put the water first in the jar and then the acid you don't want to put the acid and then pour the water and you know powder is going to fly all over and it's not going to be good so I'm going to put this thing on I'm going to look a little bit ridiculous but that's okay all right got my gloves Right, and got the measuring cup. Now, once you mix the acid into the warm water, you do not need to wear a respirator anymore unless you really want to. It's only the powder that, you know, flying through the air. Unless you like spill this in your mouth, it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm gonna put my gloves back on and I am going to use a foam brush and I'm just going to paint this on my wood. I'm going to move the camera actually closer so you can see how quick this is happening. So let me take my gloves back on. All right, I think now you have a decent view of it. I'm going to put my gloves back on and I'm just gonna use this foam brush applicator and brush on it. I'm only gonna do one side. You, of course, if you're doing this for a project, you wanna get all the sides. You could put this in a spray bottle and just spray it. But I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna take the other board, put it next to it so we can see if the color changes and how quick. It's only been about 15 minutes, but so far I'm very pleased with what I see. And like I said, my microphone battery, it's about to run out, so cut it a little bit short you will get the idea now what i need to do is take this piece that we removed the green 
and I'm going to take it outside and rinse it really, really good with water. I'm going to use my garden hose and I'm going to rinse it really good. Then I'm going to let it dry and then we'll come back and we'll compare. All right, I cleaned up a little bit. My boards are dry now. Now there is a big difference and too bad the shop light here is not good at all. But I don't know if you could tell the difference. This board has a nice warm, kind of like a butternut color. And this one's still the green. So I figure maybe we'll see the difference a little bit more if I put a finish on it. Can you see this? Let me see what you can see. Let's see. Yeah, the light is bouncing and you can see well. There you go, maybe when there is no light. So you see this one, it's so much more green and this one has a nice warm tone to it. So let's add a finish to it and see what that would look like. For the finish, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna put some Addis, Addis oil and I'm using this because I don't need to use gloves. Let me get the stir stick. So pretty much I'm gonna mix this Put it on, wipe it off, see what it looks like. And this is our boards side by side. Let me see if you can see any difference. I'm not sure if I made it better or worse by putting the finish because now they're more shiny. They will reflect light more. But let me hold them side by side. It's hard to tell. And camera, it's hard to tell. I'm going to take some pictures of it and put them on the side so you can see them. But this one over here, the one we removed the green, it's definitely no green and it has a nice warm tone to it. Maybe this angle, it's a little bit better. You can see this one has a nice warm tone, no green. Can you see it? I hope you can see this. It's so hard to show the accurate color. I'm just gonna have to put a photo on there. Now I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.